How do you develop key performance questions? The French philosopher Voltaire said, judge a man by his questions and not by his answers. And little did he know that he was so right even today. When I work with companies, I help them develop key performance questions as a vital part of their performance management approach. Instead of going off and designing lots of things you could randomly measure, we, set down, we, we start at identifying the true information needs. And this is what KPQs are all about. You figure out what questions do I want to have an answer to, to understand how well I'm delivering my performance and my strategy. And once you've got the question, you then look for the right um, key performance indicators that will help you answer those questions. So the former Google chairman, Eric Schmidt said again, in Google, they're running the organization by asking questions rather than simply looking at lots of answers. And this is, this is true, good organizations will now look at the data in the context of their true information needs. So when I help organizations develop KPQs, there are a few tips that I think are really important. Firstly, we want to make those questions what I call performance related and not about strategic choices. Because your strategic choices is something that you will define in your strategy. Let's say in your strategy, you need to decide, do I want to target this customer or that customer? And once you've de defined, okay, this is the customer, segment I'm targeting with my product, then you have a strategic goal and now you need to ask a question. And the question is about how well are you now delivering your strategic goal. So it's about performance and not about strategic choice. Too often when I work with companies, they come up with questions like, should I target this customer or that customer? Should we do this or that? Is this customer more prof profitable or that? Actually, these are some of the analytics you need to run before you develop your strategy, but they're not key performance questions. So your key performance questions are questions about how well you're delivering your strategic goal. The second point is that I like to make them open questions. The difference between a closed question and, and an open question is that an an open question I can't answer with a simple yes or no answer. So if someone asks a closed question like, did you go on holiday this year? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Where did you go? Greece. So each time you ask a question that's a closed question that can answer with a simple one word answer, it closes the conversation off. And there's actually very little engagement happening in your brain. If I ask an open question, why did you choose to go to Greece? What this now does is it sparks some activity in your brain to search for answers because you can't simply give them a one word snap answer. You have to now think about this and you have to elaborate and explain. And for me, this process is something that I want to instill in businesses. Instead of saying, did we deliver our budget? Yes or no, tick box exercise, no further thinking required. You say, how likely are we that we are going to deliver our, question, our, our budget? Suddenly this is an open question and it's also a future orientated question. So what we want to do is we want to make them open questions and preferably looking into the future because this means people have to engage in answering those questions. So you have a list of questions saying, these are the key things I want to know as an organization, but they're not simply tick box exercises. They require me to think about this a little bit, where we then use those indicators and metrics that we have to help us answer this question, but they won't automatically do this by themselves. So we need to interpret the information to then reach an answer to those questions. And this is, why KPQs are so important for organizations. Lots of my clients now say that KPQs are actually more important than the KPIs because they do this, they help them reflect on performance in a really meaningful way. So there are a few shortcuts. Uh, two starting phrases that for me really help organizations come up with good KPQs is how well or 
to what extent? Because these will automatically then make them open questions. So instead of, are our customers happy? Are our em employees engaged? Are we making the right profit? You say, how well are we engaging our customers? To what extent are we engaging with our employees and so on? And this then creates questions that really trigger the thinking processes in our, our, in our heads, which then engage people in reviewing and monitoring performance and the strategy of the organization. If you would like to learn more, head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples. <laughs>